I may not be a smart man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Pokemon channel. Here we don't grow old. We evolve. Once again, I am joined by uh, Drinking Games. Hello. Hello. Still and uh, that sponsorship from Bacardi. Right. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by drinking. Do it. <laughs> you, you. Your head says, you better take a goddamn shot. Oh my. <laughs> I don't have a drinking problem. I force others to have it. <laughs> hey, it's not a problem, it's a solution. Two other problems. <laughs> you can't just decide it's a problem. You can't just decide. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't just decide, but sir, you're naked in a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, so is that person. <laughs> no, no, they're just fat and <laughs> their clothes. <laughs> oh, God, are the, are the fucking skin-colored tights still a thing in Walmarts? Yeah, yeah, they're disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God, and it was only, like, super fat, unattractive people that used them. Like, okay. I know, I have four pairs. <laughs> like, okay. I'm going to say this right now. You, if you're fat, I mean, if you're overweight or, you know, there's ways to take care of yourself. There are people who have, like, you know, that, that they have a health condition or something. The other people just fucking making excuses. Like... It's not a disability just because you can't put down a cheeseburger. Right. Like, and I'm not trying to fat shame anybody. Like, that's the last thing I want to do, but, like... Yeah, but there's, there's a point where, like... A little shame is good for you at that point. Yeah. Like, like when you're 500 pounds just because you can't stop going out to eat, or, like, you've never heard of a vegetable, like... <laughs> that's your... What is that? Is that, is that a... Is that a whole pickle? No, no, it's, it's, it's a cucumber. Oh, yeah, what's that green rabbit food doing there? That's lettuce. <laughs> I can't eat this. <laughs> I gotta have fuel for my body. Right, like, God, I, I, we live in a world right now where everybody is offended by everything. That part of me is just like, you know what? Me saying that I'm that I don't want to fat shame people. People are gonna be offended by that, and if I say I do want to fat shame people, somebody's gonna get offended by that. So I might as well just say what's on my mind and how I feel. Well, see, and the thing. we've covered both bases. You said you don't want to fat shame, and I said that at some point we should. And I agree with you. There is a point where you... I think the point where you should be fat shamed is when you use it as a crutch. Or, yeah, you know, those people who aren't disabled, but they're so fat that they use a scooter in Walmart anyway? Yeah, or, like, they have the handicap thing, or... Uh, they use it as a means to like, oh, they're just hating on me because I'm fat. It's like, no, they're hating on you because you're an asshole. You're using the fact you're fat as an excuse. And you can get disability for it. It's taking money from people who can actually fucking use it. Right. So there, there's a point where I think fat shaming should be a thing. Um, but there's also a point where, um... Uh, you know, it's acceptable to be a little overweight or to be very overweight. I mean, uh, shit, I, surgery, uh, surgery alone can do that to you. True. And what's the, the cancer, lymph node cancer? Uh, uh, it's a certain type of cancer and it attacks your body at, um, it's part of your body that helps like render fat, like break it down. And you just can't, you literally can't lose weight. I mean, yeah. And another thing that nobody talks about, and I want to give a shout out to everybody who suffers from this, gaining weight. There are legitimately people who just can't gain weight. They try and try and they just can't do it. And I mean, they feel unattractive because they're so skinny and they try and they try, but they just can't seem to gain weight. It sounds unheard of, but it is a thing. I mean, my mom suffered from it. It does happen, and it sucks. 
So, shout out to those of you who, if you feel unattractive because you can't gain weight, don't worry. I mean, I forget what comedian said it, but it's it's honestly, it's not even just funny, it's true. No matter what you look like, there's somebody out there who will fuck you, or love you, or both. Honestly, yeah. Like, it's true. You're attractive to somebody else out there, no matter what you look like. Hmm? Skeletor was a hugely popular character. <laughs> but, I mean... It's just finding the right people for you. Yeah. Like, There's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to judge you for what you are or what you look like. I, sometimes they should judge you for your personality, but they don't do that either. I feel like that's becoming a trend that needs to be fixed. Uh, oh, not caring what people's personalities are like? Like how they are as humans? Uh, the whole mindset that, uh, you shouldn't care what other people think or what, uh, or not even that, like, how do I put it? The, the mindset that, um, if people don't like you for who you are, it's their problem. While that's true in some cases, I do believe that if enough people are not wanting to be around you, that's a character flaw, not them being closed minded. And maybe you should work on yourself a little bit. You know? That's hard. It's way easier keeping a dick. Right, and blame the world around you. Like, trust me, I've been there. I thought... Uh, you guys, I, I'm it's sure... It's quirky, it's stupid. Sorry. <laughs> like, I, I've shared it before on my old channel, I believe. I was homeless. And, you know, I was with a girl who did nothing beneficial for my life. And she used me and cheated on me often but i just let it go because i thought that uh uh that you know it, it it i i just have to accept it and me being too accepting of people turned out to be a character flaw that i needed to fix you can be yeah. too accepting yeah that's why i'm only on these uh, collaborations because honestly i'm a real prick he doesn't want to see me in real life <laughs> but it's funny commentary <laughs> He's, he's picking and choosing. He's learning. <laughs> no, dude, every time you're here, it's a fucking blast. So, I can't wait till uh, uh, Alyssa is here, too, so all of us can just work on projects together. Like, that'll be really fun. Yeah, but, it, it definitely will be. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people excuse things that it's healthy to excuse certain things, but it's also immensely unhealthy to excuse certain things. Well, see, and now there's there's a point where people are afraid to speak their minds against something because, like, fucking cancel culture. Yeah. If, if you say something and someone doesn't like it, then they attack your fucking life and they, they can ruin your career. They can do a lot of awful things to you because you said one thing they didn't fucking like. And I mean, yeah, there's sometimes when it's appropriate, when someone says something super fucking racist, all right, fair, cancel culture people, go get them. But it, it, it's making people afraid to act out their personalities. I, I, and, and that, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You were, finish up i was just gonna say that can be like bad in two different ways it can be bad as someone who's a real piece of shit is suppressing their personality so people don't find out early on and then it can be bad for the people who are good fucking people who just maybe feel more conservative about something than you do right it can hurt good people and it can hurt other good people in the in the form of you know keeping this fucking psychopath down until you know, you're alone with the person and they can't tell anybody, you know? Right. Like, ah, I don't know. Sorry, I was getting heated. Oh, no, it's fine. I feel like this is more serious of our episodes. <laughs> but, like, I've had this conversation before. Um, social justice warriors are one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, I know, okay, here's an example of what I hate about SJW. There were people who tried to, who sent hate mail and tried to get a uh, Super Mario Odyssey taken off the Switch because it, Mario can wear a sombrero and it was deemed uh, 
racist towards Mexicans. Yet the Mexican community was the one to come out and say, no, nah, man, we fucking love that. Like, to, a lot of SJW are racist white people who want to feel superior towards blacks and Jews and other people, so they try to belittle them by acting like, oh, uh, these are people that need protected. And it's my job to spread hate towards people who, uh, who aren't them. When yeah, news... When, when someone says stupid shit like that, when someone is actually being a racist, everyone's gonna treat them like crap. We don't need people out here fighting these non-existent... I don't want to say non-existent battles, but, like, fighting this war that doesn't exist. Well, I mean, it's... the way I see it, black people don't need nosy-ass white people coming in and trying to protect them. They are doing great on their own, and the fact that people are doing that it belittles them. Like, it makes them seem like they can't defend themselves. Black people are the str are some of the strongest people on the planet. And the fact that there's, like, these hipster white douchebags that are like, uh, I, oh, you're racist because, uh, you know, X game company decided that a black character should be white in this game. I mean, so what? You, it's not your place to speak out on their behalf. And that's happened in, in like comic books and shit forever. Sometimes this character is a female. Sometimes they're a male. Sometimes they're white, black, whatever. It's 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 just a character, and it changes whenever they fucking want. And it's, it's not a bad thing. No, and that's another thing. Like, uh, I think we talked about this before. Once a a place or a company starts changing characters or making characters to appease a certain group instead of making instead of making uh the character that what was it you said uh it was about gay characters if you make a, a, a movie or a game and make a character where their personality is their gay instead of making a character who happens to be gay there's a big difference it is, there is. There's such a huge difference. Because, like, yeah. That, that's actually damaging to a, a gay community more than just, here's a gay character. that They don't have to talk about it. You ever met a gay person? They're not just sitting there spouting about it every two fucking seconds. And if they are, they're probably not gay. Yeah, it's... It, it makes the character seem... It's a cop-out. It's a cop-out. Yeah, and like... The character just shouldn't even be there anymore. If that's if that's all they're gonna be, right? If there's nothing to the character, there's no character development. There's nothing there beside here. I'm your obligatory gay character because aha, this game company understands you, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't work that way. No, it really doesn't. Oh God, we're uh we're over time. So uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us on this semi-serious episode of the Pokemon. Um. <laughs> I mean, if we've offended anybody, that was not our intent. Like, No, not at all. Yeah, we just, I mean, we were sharing our point of views. If you have a separate point of view, please put it in the comments below. Um, Don't cancel us. Well, I mean, good luck. You can't cancel what isn't... You can't cancel a show that's not on the air. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're the only ones that can cancel. <laughs> right. So... But I mean, I'm always I'm I'm open minded. I'm always willing to hear another point of view as long as it's provided in a uh, acceptable manner. You know, if you just come at me like, "Dude, you're stupid and wrong," then I'm not going to listen actually, to you. You can actually talk; it's great. Right. Just come at me with anger. I'm not. Gonna right. To you. The best conversations are when you put anger aside and truly try to understand the other person. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Peace.